By this time of the season, you're getting used to making a lot of little tweaks to your sprayer, depending on what product you're applying. In today's Iron Talk, I'll show you yet another small change that can make a big difference for you. In the middle of the growing season with just about any crop, it's time to protect your plants from harmful diseases, and that often means a fungicide application. If you've been spraying herbicides like Roundup, Extendamax, or Enlist One, though, fungicides work completely different. There are two transport systems in plants called the xylem and the phloem. The xylem can move things only upward in the plant. The phloem moves things like nutrients and water both up and down in the plant. Fungicides, once they're inside the plant, only move in the xylem. One other important consideration is that fungicides can only protect the leaves and plant parts that are out at the time of application. With this in mind, there are some little changes that you need to make on your sprayer compared to if you're spraying Roundup. First of all, with fungicides, you should use more spray volume with ground rigs performing mid-season applications. You need volume to penetrate the crop canopy and cover these plants. Secondly, you need the correct spray tips to make medium-sized droplets to get the best spray coverage. Flat fans work well for this droplet size, and many farmers are seeing the best results with twin fans, especially for protecting vertical plant parts like wheat heads, for example. My favorite tips are the new 3D nozzles from Hypro. Just incredible coverage. Finally, your spray pressure should be fairly high to get penetration down through the crop canopy and to coat the plants. That's tough to do if you're running too fast with the ground rig, so slow down a little bit and do the job right. Spraying a fungicide is a lot different than spraying straight Roundup. Smaller droplet size, higher pressure, and higher water volumes help you achieve excellent coverage to get the job done right. That's all for today's Iron Talk, and now back to the show.